Hey guys, it's Romnom. Or I'm just gonna start calling myself Nick, because calling myself Romnom just seems weird to me. But I have put together a um a little kinda not, not really a bass drop, just kinda like a Mombaton, a Mamba core or funk step kind of sounding bass line I want to say I'm not gonna say bass drop I'm gonna say bass line I like the sound bass drop I like the sound bass line better because it's not really bass drop my bass isn't dropping it's just doing fun stuff and what you see here are massive envelopes I've made my sounds but I'm gonna show you how to make the envelope kind of thing you know how the envelopes come up to and their automation clips and whatever I'm gonna show you how to put all those in and stuff like that so here's what it sounds like don't mind the beginning the beginning the beginning's gonna be really bad I just threw it together so it would be like an intro to it it's very very not lined up but oh well here we go sorry if, by the way sorry if you hear people in the background it's my sister so here's this So yeah, there's that. What I'm going to show you how to make is this. If you guys hear that, I'll play it by itself with no nothing else behind it. Now, without, like here. Let me pull the patterns out from underneath the automation clips. Without the automation clip, here's what it sounds like. Without that, it sounds like this. With that in there. Same with everything else. Um, I'm gonna show you where the base, what the base looks like. I'm not gonna remake it. I'm just gonna show you how to make it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna. I know I'm using modern talking. I'm sorry. It's very, very cliche and very, very mainstream. But it's just to to back up the kind of gritty sound. It's plus. It's even been minus plus. So it's not really the talking kind of sound it makes. It's just to back it up and make it gritty. So what you're going to do in your first oscillator is you're going to turn it to modern talking. You're going to turn the spectrum area to bend minus plus. You're going to leave the wave positioning in the middle and drop it down one octave. In oscillator two, you're going to turn it to scream. You're going to turn it to bend minus plus. Put your wave positioning in the middle to drop it down one octave. And then on oscillator three, you're going to turn it to deep throat. You're going to drop it down to, or put it at, sorry, drop it down. Put it at um, bend minus plus. Put your wave positioning all the way to the left and put your pitch just leave it at zero then you're going to go down to your modulation oscillator you're going to, you can either drop it down an octave or you can leave it at zero i left it at zero and then you're going to go to your ring mod and take it to one oscillator one and then put it to like right like i want to say like 10 or 11 o'clock you can adjust that yourself too same with the phase take it to oscillator two i put mine at nine o'clock i recommend you put it there too um just for fun um now with the inserts i didn't put any but you can i recommend putting hard clipper and uh using that just because it makes it sound a little bit better but i didn't want to use it just for this tutorial i didn't use it but you can um you can readjust that as you please too um also and your filters drag your f2 or your f drag this all up to f2 your filter one you want to put it at double notch and leave everything the same, turn on your rena or res I don't want to say renaissance every time I see R, but <laughs> turn on your resonance to pointing at the E, um, so about maybe 11 o'clock. Um, leave your cutoff where it is and go down. Do not grab the vibrato um, macro control because if you do, I don't know, I used it and it didn't sound very well. Um, very well, very well, like, it wasn't very much vibrato. It was more too wobbly for it to be brought even though it's the same kind of thing same wave it still didn't I didn't like the way it sounded so just go to your number two don't do anything to it just grab it and put it here and put it as this or you can readjust it as you please um, go to your FX1 and change it to classic tube and just drag down your dry wet down to about pointing at the right in between the D and the R and put your EQ and just boost these things up just a little bit um, just to give it more volume also like I said your volume 4 or volume 4 your envelope 4 needs to be all the way up your level needs to be all the way up and your voicing needs to be at 4 
no, go to, go to your actually just go to your voicing. Turn that to four. Turn your pitch cutoff on. Drop it down to negative point zero one. Go down to your pan positioning. Turn it on. Put it in the center and grab your LFO and drag it to here and make it look like this. And then go to your LFO and turn your rate down just a little bit. And that should be your sound, and it should sound like this. So I'm gonna go back to this and go back. With this down, it should sound like this. Pull it up. Okay, that's that. And so basically, now to get this, um, if you, if you can see what it says, it says massive number two or massive two. And what you do is you go back to this and you exit out of that and you should get, no, I'm sorry, sorry, go back to that. That was bad. Go to this. <laughs> Let's go to this thing right here, your arrow. Go down to make editor thumbnail. It's going to make that sound and click this. It'll pull this down and find your number two right click it and go to create automation clip it'll pop one of these things onto your uh, track and then readjust it as you want like I can readjust this if I want it to sound you know like that but I have it like that and then the more waves there are the more sick it sounds so um, yeah that's a, that's basically how to make the sound and how to make it do what it's doing. Here it is one more time. Yeah, it's not very well organized, it's not really mixed yet, it's just um, messed with mostly. So, if you guys like this video, please like and favorite and also subscribe and I hope this helps you out if you guys don't know how to do this um, I'm Nick thank you for watching